seasons are changing and so maybe it's time for your Facebook cover to change too. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to optimize your Facebook cover to jumpstart driving traffic to your Facebook business page. This is because in today's world, generating Facebook leads is easier than ever. Simply put, you can use a Facebook cover update to reflect your unique selling proposition and take advantage of this prime real estate to immediately wow your page visitors and convey what you're about, as images communicate much more quickly than words. So ask yourself this question, is your current Facebook cover image old or outdated? Does it include several images that accurately reflect your business and its products and services? Have a flick through some of your recent professional or professional looking images um, that you have of your business and would any of them make for a great Facebook cover? If so, follow along as I show you how to create a great Facebook cover collage. But first I want to show you a best practice example from Yaraman Caravan Park. My colleague Despina Carazias recently worked with the amazing Tanya Paul at Yaraman Caravan Park to create this brilliant Facebook cover image. In their session, they identified an opportunity to showcase more of the business using three different images of beautiful landscapes to give potential customers an insight into what to expect. So not only does this image inspire a sense of travel and discovery in nature, but it also offers more value and is far more effective than just showcasing the caravans, as this is what people would come to expect given that it is a caravan park. Um, so this Facebook update cover image was created in Canva, which we're about to jump on over to, to show you how you can create something similar. So jumping onto Canva, I'm going to use another small business. Um, I will be using H&M Productions. So our wonderful friend Shirley from H&M Productions will be using some of her photos today to show you how you can use Canva to create such an enticing Facebook cover image. So if you haven't used Canva before, it is a um, design editing tool and platform. Um, you only need the free version to be able to do this. So once you head over to Canva, just head to the search bar and type in Facebook cover. Um, the great thing about Canva is that they have thousands of templates, as you can see, already pre-populated. You can go in, change it up, change the colors, add or take away pictures, but today we are going to create a blank Facebook cover. So what we're going to do is in the elements section, we are going to scroll down, um, gonna go see all and then add in a grid of three. You can add more images, take away images. If you just wanna add two or four, um, whatever you like, it's up to you. I'm just creating a similar one that Despina and Tanya created. So once you've got them in here, you just wanna adjust it, head to your uploads. And I've already uploaded a image, some images from her website. So I'm gonna use these three images. So, this um, is a bit more enticing than just using a logo of your business or one um, product or service. So this way it kind of shows the range of your um, products. If you were a small business and you um, did garage repairs, instead of just showing one garage, you know, you may want to show the before and after um, and the process. And that's how you can use these three images. So I think these three images show an array of different concepts and themes that she takes photos of. So we've got some scenery, we've got some weddings, and we've just got some close product shots. So once you have the images, head back over to your elements and add in a square rectangle shape. And we just wanna add some more information at the bottom. So just drag and cross, drag it across and change the color something simple. This is where you can bring in your branded covers. Um, so from here, I am going to add her logo. I'm going to resize it. Um, so once I resized it, I'm going to head over to text and add in some text to kind of describe. This is where you can put in your unique selling proposition. So I'm just going to paste it. I've already copied it. Make it a bit bigger so you can see. Um, be aware that the bottom half of this photo may not be able to be seen on your um, desktop or your 
mobile app, um, but when it is uploaded, people can see this writing and when they click on it, but given that the images are the most important part, it's not too big of a deal that you can't see all of this um, information. And then I wanna add some other elements. So I wanna add the links to the Instagram, their Instagram, drag that down. And then the finished product will look something like this. It's nice and simple um, and it's far more effective than just one photo. So if you try this out, make sure you post it, add a caption. So you want to add something that describes the image, kind of why you're uploading it, maybe include your unique selling proposition and then a call to action. So link it back to your website, take them somewhere, um, take them to view more of your photos or your product or your service. So once you want to, once you've got this, you want to download, um, save as a PNG. Um, and then just download it and upload it to your Facebook. And once you do that, tag us in the comments as we would love to see all the designs you've created and we will come and give you some love.